people often ask me, where does this sense of passion and excitement come from when it comes to bourbon and comes to bourbon lore? It comes from five generations of growing up in Arizona and the American West since it was a territory. There is no greater story from my perspective in being able to talk about coming west and what that meant and the trials, the troubles, whether you were looking at coming west to, in the 1800s for ranching or if you were looking at coming west to potentially strike it rich in a, in a gold mine or if you were looking at coming west because you're building the railroad or coming you know, as part of the railroad and homesteading. On top of all that cowboy Americana and mining and railroad, now, all that culture immersed here in the wild frontier of the American West. So we're a little uh, south of Tucson, heading towards New Mexico. And this is one of the places that I would come often with my, with my dad, my mom, and my sister. And, on the weekends, uh, you know, when you have a, kind of a cowboy uh, antique dealer for a father, you spend your weekends uh, out in the American West uh, exploring, you know, seeking out old ghost towns, old mining towns. And this was a bit of, I would say, kind of our, uh, our American West church, so to speak. I think one of the things that's always fascinated me about growing up here in Arizona and having opportunities to come out into the kind of Southwest and explore is you can't help but think about all the diverse history and even something like here at Kentucky Camp. You know, at one point they had 500 miners working in this area uh, in the 1880s up through the early 1900s. And when you're out here, you think about, you know, the types of individuals and the characters and people trying to find a, you know, a, a better quality of life and trying to strike it rich. and you know, just a little bit, you know, further out over here is a little town by the name of Sonoida, and then you have Tombstone that's just, uh, you know, over here. And you think about everybody that came west, and you think about all the native culture that had been here for tens of thousands of years. And there wasn't necessarily homes that you could purchase. You had to build a home. So just like my family had to build its first cabin in the 1800s in northern Arizona, many others had to that came out here. And that sense of grit, that sense of determination, that sense of you know, manifest destiny, that sense of passion and the fact that you want to provide for your family a greater quality of life, I believe is absolutely still ingrained in the spirit of the American West and for generations of who we are as a community. There are certain things that are in my life that I'm deeply passionate about, whether it's family, whether it's nature, whether it's friendship, whether it's building businesses, and bourbon was 100% a key component of that for me in my life. Some of the unique things that we're going to be doing with, you know, with American whiskey and tying it to bourbon lore is, you know, obviously telling that story, but creating these moments where we get to come together and do some unique things and explore some unique places um, and share in those moments that, you know, I'm sure uh, in, in many ways for me now are, have been defining moments that, um, you know, that's why I'm back here today. You know, one of the aspirations that we have as bourbon lore is, you know, American whiskey has a fascinating story, has an incredible journey that it's been on, and you know, we can't really share and tell the story of, uh, of our country without sharing and telling the story and the way that spirits have played a critical part in that. And when we're out here and you look at this, it's like this element of preserving some of the past, right? Ensuring that that history doesn't get lost. And I think just like with, you know, with bourbon is we don't want some of that history to be lost. We want to be able to preserve that. Uh, we want to be able to, you know, have those conversations and find that, you know, that folklore, and, you know, be able to bring that to life uh, and then share it with others. And I think that's what enriches, you know, not only the, you know, the craft, but the passion, the interest and the excitement behind it. 